morning everybody I uh, was browsing Craigslist and Facebook marketplace and I found a trailer in West Palm Beach for fearless I believe and uh, I just jumped in the truck grabbed some cash and I'm on my way I uh, it's pretty good specs so we'll see how it goes but uh, we're rolling There we are, crossing in Louisiana. This is why I hate I-10. All right, morning everybody, a little update. <clears throat> Got the trailer home. Just doing some measuring and adjusting. Got one of these bumps out. From there to there. Uh, I already <clears throat> put the boat on it once. And uh, it sat really weird with these bunks like this. So uh, we're gonna move them out all the way. That should drop the, the V of the boat <clears throat> down in the middle. Cause it was about I don't know, six inches too high. And then up on the front, it sat pretty well, but obviously it, hang, it hung off the rear about two, about two feet. So I'm going to have a welder come out, cut this out, move it a few feet further because the V of the, the front of the boat was about right here. Um, almost touching the cross member um, and then have move this right there have a plate put in bolted <clears throat> and that should give me enough room to get it in and it should fit pretty good uh, the trailers 45 feet 48 feet I think three 8,000 pound axles Kodiak disc brakes uh, electric or hydraulic couple of spares as you can see dual jacks uh, 17 5 rims with 16 ply tires these are uh, I think these are the original tires and they're uh, sailing which as you can see I've run 17 fives on a lot of my stuff and I always use hand cook so I'll probably end up replacing those but uh, all in all Pretty clean trailer, LED lights of course, and uh, get everything adjusted, oh, pretty easy. Just gotta undo these bolts, and push the rails in. I'll show you how it looks when it's done. After I get uh, the post forward and this moved, forward hop and cut that cross member and uh, feel this should be on it pretty soon <laughs> 